You want to learn game development? Let's go ahead. When I run the game, you will see that the ball will drop down, but it will go through the box. It should not go through the box. Why it is going through? Because I've turned on, turned the collision off on this box. Every object that you add to a scene has a collider, especially the objects that you add from the Unity. A cube, a sphere, a cylinder, a capsule, or, or just a quad. All these objects have a collider in them. So for example, if you take a closer look at the sphere, you will see there's a collider. There's a sphere collider in there in the inspector. Similarly, the box which is right under the ball has a collider as well. But you will see that the box collider in the properties has a property, uh, the checkbox turned off. If I turn on the checkbox, now the two objects will actually collide when I run the game. Let's see how it works when we run the game. You see, the ball is bouncing off this cube right on the top. That is happening because of the collider. When you want two, ob two objects to collide, both objects should have a collider. And at least one of them should have a rigid body inside to make them collide. Now, if I turn the direction of this cube a little, I will tilt it a little, rotate it. And now if I run the game, you will see the ball will bounce, but it will go in the direction of the rotation of this box. This is happening because of the physics engine is all automatically calculating that for you. So that is how the collision works in Unity. This video went too fast. We have a detailed tutorial about this on YouTube. Link in the first comment. And we have a whole course on game development on YouTube. Link in the second comment. Go check it out.